Arizona is full of spas. In fact, it's known as a spa destination. So how then does a spa become different and distinctive? We are here at the Aji Spa at the Wild Horse Pass Resort in Chandler, where they offer traditional spa treatments such as massage and facials. But what's different here? All their services are infused with the Native American experience. A big part of the experience is communicated through these native ingredients, locally harvested salt, sage, and other plants and herbs. There's a certain way that we design these treatments. A lot of them are based on uh, legends and myths of, and stories of my people. Balin Stoneman is more than just a masseuse and a therapist. She is a cultural caretaker for the two tribes that host the spa at the Wild Horse Pass Resort. There's a few of us that are uh, Pipash, which is Maricopa tribe, and the Pima, which is the Akuma Atham tribe that live here in the community. What we do here at Aji is we design uh, different protocols. We gather herbs that we use in our treatments. Before there's touch, before the hands-on part of a treatment here, there's talk, communication, and sharing of tribal stories that form the basis of this spa experience. She told me a, a, a great little tale before I went in about the blue coyote, and I, I think when you hear the story, it kind of just, you can relate to different situations in your life, and I think it just made me kind of relax more and, and think about the breathing process and the relaxing process. We use a product that's called shogai. It's uh, made from a sacred plant that we we grow here. We use that and we make a special balm with it and we use that on the, on the body. What makes Aji so unique is the culture and the authenticity behind that. It's uh, the only Native American spa on Native American land. 